Hi there and welcome to this week's uh, Face of the Jewelry Quarter. Uh, I'm really happy about um, this week's Face of the Jewelry Quarter. Uh, why? Because uh, we're here with a couple of people I've known for some time and they sort of represent uh, the kind of foundations of the Jewelry Quarter, the, the history if you like, uh, because uh, they uh, own, is it Birmingham Jewelry Finishers? Birmingham Jewelry Finishers was, yeah. yeah, the original name when we first started. Sure. Well, to my, DJ, my yeah. dad started, <laughs> our dad. Yeah. yeah. So it's a family. It was started as a family business. It's still run as a family business. Yeah. And um, you now, as well as doing, obviously, we're now in the workshop. This is where it all happens behind the scenes. Uh, so not only have we got a couple of retail shops, Regency and Stanley's. Yes, yeah. That's right. Uh, but yeah. you actually do all the work up here as well. So you probably see some things going on behind us. So. Um, yeah. And, and and your dad started the business roughly around. 1976, 77 was when he first started yeah. polishing the, the ingots for the Silver Jubilee at the time. Um, something he did. He worked at Lucas's at the time. Started doing that as a, as a side thing, and then that took off. Got himself a little unit. Um, when the ingots stopped being produced, he then got contacts through Ratners and everyone else, and um, started up a little polishing shop and yeah. left Lucas's and. The rest is history. From, from there, it just progressed, yeah. And you've always and been here on Vice Street. Haven't well, you? his first shop was just down, um, just a few minutes from here. Right. But then, when these were built, um, sort of the 1980 roundabout, but uh, yeah, end of the 70s, early 80s, he bought this unit, and um, yeah, we it sort of took off from there, really. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you joined the business straight after school. I had a year doing something else, but that sort of just got dragged in, kind yeah. of. Sort <laughs> of. I don't want to give away we your age either, but that's the late day. 80s, isn't it? Yeah. That was, yeah, it was, um, I left school in 86, did something for a year, wanted to go into, into graphic design, that was all changed at the time, and did a college course, but just eventually, a year down the line, ended up. Going into, and you got, you got roped so into the family got business. Got roped in, yeah. 1987, uh, that was. Yeah, that's, uh, so I'm not that good at maths, but that's, uh, is it nearly 30 years ago? Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. 30 years. So yeah. obviously yeah. there's a lot of history behind this business. You all know what you're doing. Um, how's business changed in those years, in those three decades? I mean, how's the jewelry quarter changed? It's, it's changed an awful lot. The manufacturing has gone away from the jewelry trade. Definitely, um, because when we were just Birmingham jewelry finishers, it was all being manufactured around here, and, that, and our job was we were just polishers mm. to the trade. So there was a company over the road called Gallery who manufactured for Argus, Ratners, Samuels, and when all the product was finished, um, you know, as in stone sets and everything, we then did the polishing yeah. and. Um, you know, thousands upon thousands of yeah. rings, pendants, you know, you name it, jewellery wise, we, we polished it. Yeah. Um, but that's that's where it's changed, you know, the manufacturers in the trade have, have kind of slowly disintegrated because it's all just made aboard now. So, yeah. um, you, you yeah, still, you still obviously got a trade here, you, you do all the sort of the, the repairs, and obviously, you can make rings bespoke, custom. Yeah. In the jewelry quarter, doesn't matter yeah. what people want, they can they can turn up and, and right. you, you can deliver basically. Yeah, we, we even if it's something we don't do here on the premises, we know someone that can make it, so we can pretty well make anything mm. from scratch. Yeah, um, and al al although the, the jewelry quarter has changed in terms of maybe the amount of manufacturing that's done in the in the jewelry quarter, but you still you know, get quality pieces of, of jewelry that's made in the, in the in the quarter, and you can make yeah. it bespoke. Um, and obviously there's lots of restaurants and bars, so there's more reason to come to the jewellery quarter. But uh, would you still say that, that the, the jewellery quarter is probably the best place to come for like best value jewellery in the country? Oh, say? definitely, yeah. because it's made here, uh, or uh, still, still a, a lot of it is, and because there are so many shops around here, it's very competitive. So we all have to, we have to be competitive. We all have to do a deal and mm, yeah. play us all off against yeah. one mm -hmm. another. So it's without a doubt. Um, it, it is the best place and, and of course we also do a lot of work for shops outside the jewellery quarter they right. send yeah, their yeah. repairs into yeah. us and their alterations so that costs people more money because they have to 
you know, incorporate that in their prices. Yeah. Whereas we, you know, if someone buys a ring off us, we'll alter it free of charge. Yeah. That's all included. Or if they take a ring away and propose and it's not the right fit, mm. they bring them in, we'll, we'll alter that ring. Yeah. And there's no charge and we, we generally will clean the ring. Yeah. Um, for mm -hmm. a period of time yeah. to keep it nice for the customer and offer you know service mm. like that don't we? Yeah, yeah. But, but would you say sort of that some of the high high street brands um, they don't necessarily make their own stuff, they don't repair their own stuff. And they're the people not, that they're in, not jewellers really. No. They 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 sell jewellery. Yeah, but resellers. Yes. 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 Um, and maybe the staff there, I'm sure they're knowledgeable, but um, here that you can come in, speak to the people that are pretty much doing the job yourselves, you've been here for doing it for 30 years, right. and um, you can turn around things quicker, you can yeah. probably add that additional bit of service. Some of them are wide weight, we yeah. can do yeah. alterations, we can do cleaning, um, engraving, yeah. um, rhodium plating, you know, to whiten the jewellery. Mm -hmm. We can say, go and have a coffee, one of the many coffee shops around here, and uh, yeah, they can come back in an hour or so. Yeah. Um, I, you have actually told me that you, you polish the jewellery that well that some people don't actually believe it's the same product when you give it back yeah. to them. We've had that a few We've times. We've had that yeah. happen, yeah. 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 So it looks like a completely different, yeah. uh, well not different, but a completely yeah. brand, brand new, new yeah. bracelet yeah. or ring or whatever it may be and, and, and they're literally sort of Yes. Standing there, yeah. This can't be this mine. This can't be mine. Yeah. Are you sure you haven't changed it? I don't remember it ever looking like these. It. These diamonds look, you yeah. know, they they're bright. You, they you've given me somebody else's. Yes. Yeah. 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 What have you we've, done with mine? We've, we've, yeah. We've had we've had that. But we've had all yeah. sorts. We just have yeah. to. People just have to trust us. You know, we're yeah. like Samantha said, we do everything. You know, on the premises. Well, yeah. most. You know, all the repairs, the polishing is all done up here in the workshop. So you just have to go anywhere, you know, and, and we also do offer that service where it can be the same day. You know, mm -hmm. there are obviously repairs that have to be left with us. Yeah. But we just, you know, people have to trust that it's it's yeah. staying here. It's but not if, going. If we've had someone nervous, away. we've even offered to bring them upstairs and yeah. show them, yeah. and they've watched the lads work really? on their jewellery. Yeah, I mean that's we've something. One or two we've quite like that actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's not often yeah. you actually get into no, the workshop. No, 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 no. That's right. Our dad especially, you know, uh, loved doing that. If if someone was interested or a little bit nervous about a sentimental piece, he'd ask them if they wanted to come up and. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. That's a nice touch. Yeah. yeah. So, so that was that's a, a nice thing um, that we've always been able to offer. Isn't you it? don't obviously you don't just do the repairs and, and the, the bits and bobs, but um, you, you obviously got two retail shops. Yeah. yeah. Regency mm -hmm. and Stanley. Stanley's was the original out of the two, wasn't yes, it? Yes. Yeah. Um, that was kind of this sort of um, in the eighties. That that's where me and dad decided to to branch out and go into retail. Um, late eighties. Yeah. yeah. So what, what, what kind of products would people expect to see when they go into Stanley's? The thing is with Stanley's, um, compared to a lot of shops around here, we are one of the few that sell a bit of everything. You know, you've got you've got a lot of shops around here that are purely focused on the diamonds, specialising mm. the diamonds, which is yeah, you know, that's what they do. But we do anything from children's signet rings to, to change, just simple pendant chains in silver and gold. Um, we've got a, a whole range of earrings, stone sets, droppers, studs, you know, we've all in their different cabinets. Um, dress rings and then you know, our, our big thing, like a lot of the shops around here is we've got a good selection of wedding bands and diamond, you know, diamond rings, engagement rings. So yeah, bit bit of everything for you though. And and we've got the watches as well, yeah, we've got um the sort of three or four brands of watches. So yeah, and, and, and then you've got so reasonably different. Yeah, so what, what do you sort of what do you say? Well, we try and specialise maybe a little bit more in the diamond jewellery. Yeah. Um, and um, we've got a nice range of diamond earrings, diamond pendants, um, diamond bracelets, um, sets, you know, for occasions. And we do a lot of certified um, diamond rings, uh, mainly GIA. Yeah. which is probably the most well known and, and sought after because it's three gemologists that have to agree the grade of the stone right. and so a lot of people do their research and, and, and find that um, you know they decide that that's the, the one they want so we, we do do a lot of those and we do um, another two that are um, 
HRD and IGI and some that are done by the assay office yeah. but we try and do you know more of the things that certs that people will know yeah. um, and and yeah people you know know what they're looking for and, yeah. and we have a range I didn't, you know, I didn't realise that actually about the GSA <laughs> so I didn't know what the difference was, was about obviously you get certificates for the diamonds you got different um, places that, 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 that are offered these but you're saying the GIA they need three it, it has to be that, yeah because at, uh, at the end of the day they're, they're obviously all qualified but it is still an opinion yeah yeah um, and with G so so a lot of certs it's just maybe one person that has certified mm. that ring um, and that is his opinion and someone else could have a different opinion so GIA three people have to agree the colour mm. and have to agree yeah. the grade that's the clarity um, of the diamond so yeah. that and it's the Gemological Institute of America right. so of course it's 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 really sort of well known and um, you get a picture of the, where the floors are on the oh, stone really? and, yeah it's that's really interesting, interesting. all the Ooh. measurements and um, all the proportions of the yeah. stone it's very yeah. detailed yeah, so yeah. If, if, if obviously you're going to go and buy your future wife an engagement ring then, um, and, and you want to make sure it's, it's definitely uh, what it says it is, then obviously GI work, GIA is one way to go. Well, yeah. that's it. No, I do always have to say to people, because obviously, again, going back to the competition round right here, we'll get people that are come in the shop and they'll ask, you know, they'll ask us to work a price out and it's based on a GIA. And I always say, you can't go away and compare that to another diamond that's not GIA. Yeah. You have to compare like for like because they could get offered another stone that someone will say is also a D colour, for example, which is the highest colour. But actually, if it's not a GIA, the chances are it could be. It might not be, it might not be that high because it's someone's opinion, but you know GIA is what it says mm. it is mm. so um, I always say if you're comparing like for like that's fine sure. but don't do a price comparison yeah. based on a stone that's been yeah I mean I, I was else. with another jeweler not so long ago and uh, they, they do diamond rings and yeah. um, they were thinking about meeting possibly you know selling online selling on the likes of I'm not going to name the website but if you were to buy from there you'd probably be able to get it next day delivery that might yes. give it away um, but um, you know claiming to be a three carat certified diamond ring yeah. and um, I think they've something for six grand or something but the, the guy that I spoke to he looked at the supplier and the supplier wouldn't even sell it to him for, sell it for for sort of twice that so yeah. um, you know there's obviously a lot of people buying and selling online yeah, with saying one thing and it's really yeah, they're right. not getting what they think no. they are no, you absolutely do, you do have to be careful. things in small print or you, you, you can be very yeah very misguided yeah. so it's we always say you know most most people around here have been here many years yeah. haven't they and mm. every, everyone's got you know a really good reputation um so without a doubt yeah it's it's best to come here and spend a day and yeah have a good look around there's places to eat like you say and it's um yeah it's 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 much better than going into a high street and you know sort of not not really being 100 percent if yeah. you're being told the correct information or you've got nothing to compare it to yeah. Yeah, I mean, here you, you, there's plenty of shops to go That's and speak right. to and compare That's apples right. with apples, yeah. and you've got lots of things to do at the same time. We'll so, if you, if you want to have yeah, yeah, yeah. fully full yeah. confidence in what yes. you're buying, yeah. then you really should come and sort of touch and feel and speak to the experts. That's yeah. right. And yeah, do definitely. It, do it that way. And we'll yeah. always say, you know, go and shop around. You know, yeah. if they're coming up to us first, obviously we want the sale, of course we do, but, you know, we're confident in the products that we're selling and that we're doing a good price and, mm -hmm. and that we'll give a good after service yeah, yeah, that's yeah. very important we've had lots of people that have come in and said my god they did me such a good price but the after service has been awful and mm -hmm. um, not necessarily in the jewelry quarter but you know that they've not been able to get it altered without paying 50 pounds or more and mm -hmm. you know um, not been able to get it cleaned or yeah. and we, we will maintain the ring and i think you were saying earlier you still get customers coming back next generation sort of oh. after 20 30 years and we're we'll just still coming back to you guys so yeah i mean we have them yeah coming back and um you know a lot of them down to our dad and and yeah. the rapport he had with with a lot of the customers you know and we still get people coming in and and, and saying exactly that you know i've always come here used to come and see your dad and, and it's just carried on. He was quite a character. Was, People used to was. come in to listen to him, I think. Really? <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, hopefully people can, uh, you know, take some time out, come down to the jury court and obviously uh, come and meet uh, Sam and Scott at mm -hmm. uh, Stanley's in Regency. If you're familiar with the jury court, you'll probably recognise the two shops. Shops, it is down by street, uh, on your right-hand side from the clock, 
the blue shop front is Regency, Regency. the green shop is yeah. Stanley's just before the turning for the car park. So pop in, say hello, and obviously have a shop around. Um, so I appreciate you taking your time out and speaking to us today. Nice thank, thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, thank you Dan. Thank you and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much.